Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back to my channel. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Jamia. For those of you that are new, to my returning subscribers, welcome, Glamour Baddies. <laughs> Today's video, as you all can see by the title, is going to be another cooking video with me. Now, this um, cooking video is going to be of me making some turkey meatballs with my little special sauce that I like to use frequently. So if you're interested in this recipe, go ahead and keep watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend or a family member. All right, guys. So now I'm going to go and start seasoning my turkey meat. So as you all know from my previous videos, I don't really measure the ingredients. I simply just eye it all. I like to season <laughs> to how much ever I like to season for um, so it's up to you if you want to measure how much you want to season in your food. But me, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so yeah, it's up to you. But I usually do the basic season salt, pepper, uh, garlic salt. Um, I think Italian seasonings. Really just whatever I have available, I just use it. So yeah. Alright guys, so now that I've seasoned my meat up, put the cheese in there, I'm literally just going to use my hands to mix everything around. You just want to mix, mix, mix to make sure every um, seasoning is touching the meat basically. You know, just mix it around, mix with your hands. If you don't want to use your hands, that's fine. I feel like it's just easier to use your hands. Um, but yeah. Alright guys, so now that I have mixed everything together, I am simply going to start doing the fun part, which is making the meatballs. Now. As you all know from my previous videos, I like my meals to stretch. So I'm kind of making my meatballs at a decent size, not too big, not too small, because like I said, I want this meal to stretch. So you can do yours um, how big or how small that you want to make your meatball sizes. Alrighty, so now I'm going to start cutting my onion. Um, I already have butter in there. Excuse my um, <laughs> casket on y'all. It's real ghetto. Uh, but yeah, it does the job. Honey, it gets the food good. <laughs> no, but I'm going to come in and start cutting my onion up. Now you can do um, as many onions as you want or you don't have to do any at all. But it gives it that extra flavor, that extra touch, you know. If you ain't using onion in your food, you childish. No, I'm just playing. But yeah, y'all add some onion in there. It's going to give it that extra good taste, all right? So now you all can see me adding in my meatballs. Um, I'm trying to fit them all in here at once. Y'all know I'm always trying to do some extra stuff. Um, but you just want to basically put uh, your meatballs in the casket iron, or you don't have to use a casket iron, you can use a regular skillet. And at this point, you're just going to be um, flipping them over, making sure that there's no more pink on the meatballs.
All right, y'all, so this right here is the best ingredient for this whole meal, sun-dried tomatoes. Y'all, I was talking about the onions. <clears throat> they don't do no justice compared to these sun-dried tomatoes. If you got sun-dried tomatoes in your food, mm, absolutely amazing. So basically what I did was I just drained the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes. Now, because these are so big and me and my man like plenty of sun-dried tomatoes, I cut them up smaller so that um, we basically have more. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, don't forget the sun-dried tomatoes. It's going to give that extra taste. Like, you're going to be loving this meal. All right, y'all, so I have already started to remove the meatballs from the skillet. I'm simply just going to remove them and place them in the microwave until I'm ready for them again. Um, after that, you're going to see me start getting ready to add in my sauce. Y'all, I keep talking about what's the best part. This is also the best part, the sauce, period. So now I'm coming in with my butter. This butter is Kerrygold butter. This is some really good butter. It's very tasty. It's the one with the garlic in there. Um, so I'm adding in some butter. Then I'm actually going to add in some actual garlic, minced garlic in here. At this point, you can do how much ever, um, garlic you want to. But you all know me. I love garlic, so I'm going to do enough in there. All right, y'all, so after adding in my garlic, I'm now gonna add in my onions and my sun-dried tomatoes that I have cut up. Y'all, it's already looking amazing. Look at it. <laughs> now I'm gonna come in with my vegetable broth. Like I said, I don't really measure. So basically I just add it to see like how much I want in there. Cause I like my, I like a lot of sauce. The sauce is the best part of the meal. Like once you combine everything together, the sauce is the best part. So basically I feel like you want to do it to how much ever you want to pour, how much vegetable broth in there. Um, if you want a lot of sauce then you pour enough vegetable broth, if you want just a little bit of sauce, just pour a little bit of vegetable broth. It's all up to you. All right guys, so now I'm going to add in my heavy cream. This part is what gets that creamy um, sauce. Um, the heavy cream, I like to put a lot in here just because I like mine real creamy, I like mine saucy. As y'all can see to the right, I'm also making some mashed potatoes to go with this meal as well. All right, y'all, so this part right here, you're just gonna season your sauce. So this is the part where I feel like it's something that it's really based off of your tasting, your liking, how um, you like your sauce to be seasoned. If, you know, it's all up to you. This part is up to you. So basically I use the same exact ingredients kind of of what I use to season the meat to season the sauce. Um, but like I said, the ingredients you choose is up to you. It's gonna be based off of your taste buds and what tastes best for you.
All right, y'all. So because this is your food, this is your meal, you want to make sure that you taste it. Don't be afraid to taste in between while you're cooking to make sure it is going to be top tier for you and your family. Period. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're gonna add in our spinach. This is gonna give it that fresh green look, that yummy, yummy taste. You know, you gotta have some vegetables in there as well. So again, add in as much spinach as you like, or you don't have to add any at all. But I do recommend to add some spinach. All right, y'all, so we are now gonna add in back, we're gonna add back in our meatballs that we have cooked and put aside. And basically, you're literally just going to put the meatballs back in and pour some sauce on the meatballs so that all the meatballs are covered in sauce. All right, y'all, so this is pretty much it. This is pretty much how you make the meatballs with my special sauce. So you can uh, eat this with some rice or some mashed potatoes like me. Um, but yeah, it's simple and easy. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and share with a friend or family member. See you all in the next video. Peace out.